said, but <laughs> he'd like to get a few chances. And that last break, well, Mark didn't really do a lot wrong. The opening red was to the left middle was a beauty. There are people that enjoy the stats out there. You mentioned one earlier, Clive, about as many centuries today, and which clearly has been surpassed, and there was in one of the, the championships of the past. But if you want to know how many centuries there's been, what's the record for six frames of snooker? How many centuries? Well, the answer is six, because uh, it happened in the qualifier last year. Kyron Wilson and Anthony Hamilton they had six centuries between them in successive frames. But... Uh, this has been quite spellbinding tonight, hasn't it? Well, simply special. Sullivan's safety, Cat is the blue, and leaves Alan a possibility. Well, difficult shot the way he played it, he tried to put it and indeed cannon the two reds and finish on the black. I think the cannon was probably only on if the pot hit thick like that. And it certainly Made it no easier One. that Alan has scored only seven points in the last three frames. O'Sullivan's cannon from his initial red onto the black was not ideal. No, it's very thin, this. He has to go around the table. A little bit of hit and hope this time. It's not something Ronnie employs very often. Maybe something available Eight. to the left corner. And I think the black will go as well to the right corner. It's, it's not a simple shot. Oh, it's a little bit complicated over there. A little touch of side, right-hand side on this. Swing the cue wider. Oh, that's not bad Nine. at all. That's, uh, again, a pretty good bust-up of the pack. 16. But he's not on the red, I don't think, to the right corner. That's a rarity. Oh, the table is making even Ronnie O'Sullivan think here. <laughs> Pulling this red and getting on to the next colour is anything but easy. Seventeen. Not on the pink as he meant to be. No, and it's one of these shots that he's been knocking in for fun if he plays the pink, but the yellow might interest him as well. I think he hit the green because the yellow didn't go in cleanly, it went thick, so the cue ball didn't come round as he anticipated. The potting machine well, breaks down. Nineteen. comes as a shock to us all when it does when he's in this form probably a shock to Mark Allen actually
Jeez. Juan. He hit that well. He wanted to be at least straight on the pink. I think he's got straightness of angle just to avoid going up and down the table. Seven. What can Alan do? He can only stick to his game, stick to his method, stick to his self-belief. Eight. Intended to be better on the pink. Thinking about potting the green cushion first. Went back to the pink, which was more difficult, but it was the only way he had a very good chance of leaving good position. 14. Yes, what well, he needs is an angle on here, and he has a slight angle to get up the table. 15. Twenty one. Twenty two. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Building these up quite nicely now. Yeah, this is a pretty good effort, Clive, isn't it? When uh, he's been on the receiving end for quite 36. some time now. And they've not all been there. 37. Is that to really think about this break? It's not enough yet, but it's still a good performance for me. Uh, that's a little bit of a shame. It will annoy him because the top bed of the two close together is potable, but he tried to develop one or others as well. Now you see the position. He could have got away from that red. He was on a choice of two, especially the top one, I think. But now he really has to make sure that this contribution ends with a top-class safety shot. Because what we've seen of Ronnie O'Sullivan, he could clear up from anywhere tonight.
Mark Allen, 44. <laughs> to lead by 25. From Ronnie's perspective, you know, he thought that the cue ball was heading back around him behind the black and up the table, so it gave him a good incentive to play the shot. Still a good one. This will be a good one as well on the blue. Oh, that's got the blue back on the spot. Like I said, he could clear up here. Six. Seven. He didn't really play on the black. It only goes in half a pocket, so pink it is. Oh. I think that's the red that early on Mark Allen played on after the cannon. Fourteen. These haven't been easy shots a week, but at least from where he's 21. playing it, he can drop it in. Because he's got quite an angle on this. 22. Gradually... The winning clearance is coming in sight. 29. Again, more accuracy required on this shot. Yes, it. Stopping to get uh, the cue ball clean, but as you can see, it tells you from that angle, the red isn't very close to the pocket. Marvellous shot, and the angle is there to get up for the red. Thirty-seven. Well, he looks at the scores. Twelve, the difference, and it's really all about one shot now. And the two cushions up for the yellow, in behind the yellow. Well, he's really hit the zone tonight. Players can do that. Well, they have a little spell where it's mesmerised out there. But when O'Sullivan does it, it's something else. 47. This has been a consummate performance from O'Sullivan. He's made three centuries. He's still trying to work out whether he needs brown as well as the green. Well, I this audience have enjoyed it, and if you've enjoyed watching snooker over the last 20 years, you're in for a treat tomorrow, I think. You're going to see two of the great modern day players in action. Best. O'Sullivan is the best. And tonight he was at his best. He made three centuries in beating Mark Allen by six frames to two to reach tomorrow's final against John Higgins.